Welcome back everyone to the Hero Arts YouTube channel. This is Mindy Egan and I'm excited to share with you today the contents of the My Monthly Hero Kit for February 2021. Are you ready to take a little vacation? I totally am ready and this month's kit we are going to Hawaii. So this month's kit contains this 6x8 clear stamp set that has a ton of beautiful images. You're also getting 21 coordinating frame cuts. You will have a tropical flower washi tape, sand embossing powder, and then you're also getting six of the eight and a half by five and a half sheets of cardstock that include turquoise sea, Mars green, and coral. Now you can see some of the elements in the kit. We have some surfboards, we have a hula girl, palm trees, some flowers, fish, turtles, tiki torch, lots of fun sentiments. And these are all great for creating clean and simple cards or a scene. And I cannot wait to show you this sand embossing powder. If you haven't tried it before, you are certainly missing out. This month's kit is a $70 value that you can get for only $34.99. And if you are not a subscriber yet, be sure to head on over and subscribe to the, ki to the kits so you never miss out on these amazing deals. My card that I'll be creating for you today is a very clean and simple design. And I really want to focus on showing you that stand embossing powder that goes great with these scenes. I'm going to start off by doing some quick Copic coloring. I did speed up the portion of this video, but I still wanted to show you how I did color my hula girl and also the palm tree. The rest of the images I stamped out, I saved for a future project. So I will have all of the colors listed at the top of the screen for you if you wanted to reference those for a future use. I stamped these images in the Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink onto Dove White cardstock. Now for my girl, I am using E29, 27, 25, and 23. And when I'm doing uh, images like this where the space gets kind of small, I usually stand my Copic marker almost straight up and down. So I'm getting the very tip of my Copic marker. Now you can use any color metering, coloring medium on this, colored pencils or any other type of markers that you have. All of them would be great for these images. For the hair, I am using E59, 57, and 35. I'm going to give her a bright pink top because when I think of Hawaii, I'm thinking turquoise or oranges and bright pinks. So I'm using RV19, RV17, and RV14. I gave her a yellow necklace, yellow flower necklace, which I used Y18. And then for the grass skirt, I have G17, YG06, and then YG00, but I believe I switched it out to a YG01. Now for the palm tree, I am going to use the exact same colors. So for the uh, trunk of the tree, I am using the E27, 25, and 23. And I'll use those same green colors that I did uh, for the grass skirt, I'll use them for the top of the palm tree. And I kept the darkest color towards the inside of the tree and then made sure that the tips of the tree were the bright green. So that's where the light source would be hitting it. I also did color in the tiki torch that I'll be adding to my scene, but I did that off screen because I really didn't do any shading to that. I just uh, colored it with one color, so one brown or one yellow. I didn't do any of the light source techniques on that. So after I was done coloring, I had lined up the coordinating dies and die cut out my images. So I have them set off on the side there. Now I have a piece of dove white cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I started ink blending with soft pool. I wanted a really light blue at the bottom, but soft pool was almost too light for me. So I'm going to switch this out for soft sky. I'm still using that exact same piece of paper. I'm just going to add this color on top. I'm going for a really, really soft blend, which is why I am using a blending brush of sorts. You can use whatever blending tool you're comfortable with. I really like using a blending brush because I want to fade this color off into white. And I find I get better results when I have a blending brush, but certainly use what you're comfortable with. 
Once I have that soft pool ink blended on there, I will bring in my Hula Girl and my tree and kind of compare the colors to see how well they stand out. And I was really happy with that. So I'm gonna move to the other side of my card. I just turned my cardstock. And now I'm ink blending on soft apricot, starting off of my card and blending onto the cardstock. And I'm gonna fade that off into white. I'm not blending these two colors together. Now I'll turn this back so I have my light blue end here. And I'm gonna bring in Cup of Joe ink and just lightly ink blend this on over the top. I know this kind of looks crazy right now, but I'll show you why I'm doing this in just a moment. So I just have that light brown down at the bottom. And now we have this magical sand embossing powder. Gotta be honest, this is the first time I used it and I don't know why I haven't been using this in my beach scenes. So I am taking the embossing ink and just going direct to paper, spreading that across the bottom where I had ink blended that brown color. Then I'm going to sprinkle on the sand embossing powder. And this, it's, it's very unique. When you see the jar open, it's got a bunch of different colors mixed in here. And I will give you a close-up look of what this looks like embossed in just a moment. So I'm sprinkling this on and then I'm going to tap off the excess. Now I I hadn't waited for my blue ink to dry, so it stuck a little further up than I wanted it to. So I'll just take a paintbrush and I'm gonna brush some of that sand embossing powder down a little bit. I also take my finger and kind of move that sand around. So I think this is really great for beach scenes, underwater scenes, or even as maybe mixed media if you wanna add some kind of cool texture look to your designs. Now off on the side, I have my heat gun warming up so that I can bring it right to my cardstock nice and hot and melt the embossing powder. And the reason I had added that brown down first is because if it, when the sand embossing powder melts and doesn't cover the entire thing, there's gonna be some areas where you can see through to the color underneath. And I wanted that to be the brown so that it represents the sand. Now this looks phenomenal if you have a blue ink blended background and you add this to the bottom of your blue ink blended panel and then it would look like the ocean bottom it I did it playing around and it looks really amazing so this is a very fun product to try out now I trimmed my panel down to three and three quarters by five inches I'm lining that up in my misty tool and I'm lining up my images about where I want them to go that way I can figure out the placement of my sentiment so I chose your hula amazing it's a very fun card to send to a friend. And I'm gonna just make sure I remove the images once I have that idea set where I want the sentiment to go. Line that up straight. And then I'm gonna just stamp this into some black, uh, Hero Arts Intensified Black ink, excuse me. And I do stamp that twice just to make sure I have a really nice dark impression. Once I have that stamped, I want to add a little dimension to this. So I went ahead and I cut three more pieces of white cardstock that I layered together to create dimension behind my panel. Now you could certainly use your foam tape. I just find that I like the even coverage that the cardstock provides. And this is great for using up scraps. If maybe you had a blended panel that didn't turn out right, this is a great way to use those up instead of throwing those panels in the trash. And then I'm adding this to a piece of dove weight cardstock that measures a four and a quarter by five and a half. And I just wanna make sure that my borders are even all the way around the edge of my card. Then I can finish up my card by adding my images. I just have the three images here. I'll start by adding the palm tree, just using a dot runner and adding that right to the edge of my card. And I have my little tiki torch that I want behind my hula girl. So I just kind of lined her up. She's not stuck down yet. And I wanted her to have dimension, but I didn't want to fuss with cutting small foam squares. So I die cut her three more times out of white cardstock. And this is another great way to use up any scraps that you have because it is uh, a smaller image. So I just added those together with a dot runner and then I can place my colored image on top. So she has a lot of even coverage too, including her small arm that's sticking out, which would have been really hard to cut a small foam square for. After I have her all glued together, I'm gonna add that straight to the card front with the dot runner. 
So this was just a really nice, simple card to get you started on the kit. There is a ton more inspiration over on the Hero Arts blog. You can check out the sneak peeks and also the blog top that is over there featuring the February My Monthly Hero Kit for 2021. And also keep in mind that these kits are while supplies last. So if you are not a subscriber and you just want to purchase this outright, you certainly can. But once it sells out, it's gone. So it's a good time to, to subscribe and that way you'll never miss another kit. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again soon.